We've got enough on you, Spiliotis, to arrest you right now. Taxes, fraud. How about a little manslaughter thrown in? Okay, okay. What do you want to know? You know what I want to know. The heroin, where it's coming from, when, how it's distributed. Different every time. I don't know. Only the top guy in this area knows. Here the top guy is Enzo Cortino. I know Enzo Cortino is the top guy. I know that. I also know that this town is dry. Seattle is dry. San Francisco is dry. The whole West Coast is dry. Now you tell me what's happening. How, when, and where. I don't know. Cortino never told me nothing all these years. Now you called in and said you had something to say to me. Now you better say it. Prison. There's a ledger. Cortino's got the ledger. A book, you know, with all the names, all the places, how the stuff comes in, where it goes. Okay. Where is it? Where does he keep it, huh? Come on. I don't know. Now, what do you mean? You say there's a ledger, and now you're telling me you don't know? Helena. Helena Varga. She's the only one who knows where it is. Come on, what is this bull? You tell me there's a ledger, and now you expect me to believe that Cortino tells his girlfriend everything? I'm telling you, she's not just his girlfriend. It's like she's the only one he really trusts. Listen, every time a shipment's due, Helena takes a little trip to Miami. He sends her. Maybe, maybe that's where the ledger is. Check her bank account. See if she's got any safety deposit boxes. Also check on Cortino too. But Helena Varga. It's Eleven o'clock. How am I gonna? I don't care how you do it. Just do it. Now Stoner, I want you to check the airlines flying to Miami. See if she's booked on them in the in the next couple of days. But I want a cover on her apartment too. I want to know who's coming. <laughs> Get Christy Love. Just a little action. I don't want to get married. Hmm. Nigger. Nigger lover. Are you busy? Depends on what you got in mind. What's it going to cost? Uh, depends on what you got in mind, sugar. Well, I got in mind a little walk through the park. A uh, walk through the park? Well, I usually start at 15. Oh. Well, I know a place. Nobody will bother us. Well, nobody will bother Come on, me. honey. It's just a little bit up over there. Huh? Uh, wait, wait a minute. Where are you taking me? Easy, 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 honey. You're not scared, are you? 
thing. I don't know. I mean, it's so can't be too careful. Well, you know, you could be a killer or something. Killer? Yeah. Do I look like a killer? Yeah, you kind of does. I does? Mm -hmm. Well, this is it. Here? Uh-huh. Well, okay, um, if you don't mind, the bread, please, first. The bread. The bread. Oh, yeah. <gasps> is this <gasps> the bread you're talking about, huh? Mister, don't hurt me, don't All right, not a peep out of you, or I'll cut you to pieces. Now, just keep your mouth shut. Now, take off your clothes. Take off your clothes! Did you hear what I said? Right now, drop that. Drop your purse. Come on. Ah, that's right. Mr. That's right. Shut your mouth. Shut it. Now do it. Now take them off. Come on. Oh, that's right. Down. Right. Come on. Got two babies in. Come on, I don't want to hear about your baby. Do it. Come on, hurry up, you do it. Don't hurt me, please. Come on. That's right. That's good. That's good. Now. Now come in. Come in. Come in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Way back there. I'm sorry. Well, there he is, lover boy himself. Give me a cup. Christy, this guy has killed four prostitutes. You were supposed to wait for me. Sorry, Seymour, but he was in kind of a hurry. Weren't you, sweetheart? Huh. Oh. Okay, what's your full name? Oh, he doesn't talk. He's a man of action. Went to his ID, Andrew Norman, N O R M A N D, 4213 Adams Drive. All the credit cards. Oh, look what we found here. $21.52. Hey, Christy. Yeah. I got the forms. Now fill them out, but don't go anywhere, okay? Oh, hey, come on, man. I've had it. I want to go home. I don't... Reardon called. He's coming over. Oh. Here. He wants to buy you a hamburger. What? Christy, you're a hero. Christy, Christy wants a bath. <laughs> oh. No way. No, no way. Now, you listen to me. I want you on that plane to Miami tomorrow. Maybe there isn't any ledger. Maybe Spilly Otis invented it, but we're checking. Just before the town gets loaded with junk, Helena Braga does go down to Miami, and we want you to follow her. Hey, Find listen. Out. For the last three weeks, I have been sashaying around that park for you, wearing these freaky clothes and getting pawed at by freaks. Finally, I almost get myself killed by some pervert. Now you want me to... You were supposed to wait for Greenberg. That nut killed four women. You could have been killed. Well, what was I out there for? You didn't want me killed. What'd you put me on the detail for? I told you not to take any chances, didn't I? Damn it. I don't want you getting killed. That's cute. Can I go home now? If I don't get in the tub right this second. As long as you're on that plane tomorrow. Do you think Cortino's going to trust his entire organization to a tramp? That's your assignment, kid. You got it. Or maybe you think just because you're the only female on my squad that you deserve special privileges. Have I ever asked for any special privileges? Hey, whatever mess you tossed at me in the last six months, I have done. Go ahead. Tell everybody. So what's bugging you now? I'm tired, and I just don't get wild goose chases. <laughs> you know, Casey, I was wondering why all of a sudden, for the first time, you invited me out somewhere. But this uh, fancy bistro here and this whatever that is, they are not making the kid fall over. No way! That's what I get for trying to be nice. Okay, that's it. 
I don't want any more lip from you. Or you'll be third grade again. Hero or no hero. You got that, you dig? Yes, sir. Whatever you say. Let me walk you to your door, at least. Thank you, I know the way. Good night. Well, now, wait a minute. There are a lot of strange characters around here. So I'll call a cop. <laughs> now, don't forget. Find out everything you can about Elena Morgan. I know, I know. Where she goes, who she sees, who she talks to. Yeah, that's right. And uh, take a little rest for yourself. You probably can use it, you know? Give me your key. <laughs> Would you look at this? Prince Charming is alive and well and breathing and everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't have to worry. I'll keep the secret. Excuse me. Well, uh, don't you think we should discuss this a little more in detail? Is that the best you can come up with? Well, I'm no poet, but uh, the least you can do is invite me in for a nightcap. Uh-huh. Well, uh, remember, I have to get some rest for my next assignment. Huh? Good night, Mr. Reardon. Big Zero. This is a wild goose chase, boss. He's down there stretched out by the pool all day. And the goon plays cards nearby, looking around with those freaky fish eyes. Now, what about the ledger? No ledger, no nothing. But did you check the bank? Yep, she made a bank deposit. Counts in the uh, name of her, her nephew. Kid named Raymond Garwood. No safety deposit, bosses. Well, who does she see? Nobody. Just her nephew. You wouldn't believe it. It's like something out of a Disney film. Boss, there's nothing else to do around here, so um, if you don't mind, I want to come home, okay? No. Now, you come back when she comes back. Now, look, there's got to be more there. Look, you're a detective, so detect. Chrissy? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm having a wonderful time. Mr. Reardon. Come to think of it, Mama, it does be small city. Just trying to be friendly. How does it feel to be a lady pig? Uh, hey, it's fine. I'm, uh, I'm doing fine. I'm having such a vacation, uh, you wouldn't believe. Vacation? You've been tailing me all week. <laughs> hey, I've just been seeing the sights. You know, I bet you could show me around. You having family here and all? You wouldn't believe this, but we've probably got a lot in common, you and me. Both of us probably climbing out of some royal slum somewhere, long time ago. Mine's East Oakwood, Chicago. That's where I was born. Oh, yeah? So what? So, maybe we both started in the same kind of underprivileged neighborhood. You tell me about your rats, I'll tell you about mine. Pig. Yeah, okay, all right, let's uh, level with each other. You spotted me, you know why I'm here. Now, come on, make it easy on yourself. You tell me where it is, and uh, we'll make it easy for you. Tell the judge you cooperated, and maybe... I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, don't be stupid, okay? Cortino's ledger, that's what I want to know about. The score on the load of stuff that's due, where it's coming in and when it's coming in. That's what I want to know, baby. Where's Cortino's ledger? <laughs> You're so stupid, you've got to be a cop. 
know if there was a ledger, or if I had it, or I knew where it was. Why would I tell you? I thought you just might be interested in saving your skin, because we're going to bust you, baby. I never heard of a ledger. And you better watch your skin, baby. someone like you become a cop? I tell you, you tell me. What makes somebody like you become a tramp? Listen, nobody owns me. I do what I want, nobody buys me. All right. The apartment and the car and the bank account, it all comes from the old welfare plan, right? It's none of your business where it comes from. Hey, it is my business, and I don't mean because I'm a cop either. Now, your car and your bank account and all the rest of it comes out of my home slum, East Oakwood, Junkie City. All that five and dime stuff in it, every bit of it comes from you, you and Cortino. Listen, Pete, just lay off on me. You know, I got a cousin. He used to be a nice kid. You know what he does now? He's a pimp. Got to be. He and his old lady don't get that big because off the roof. There are a lot of kids on those roofs, too. They're getting their fixes all right, thanks to Cortino, but they're paying for it with their guts. So who gets all the bread? You do. You and Cortino. Isn't that right, sweetheart? Oh, I'd like to get my hands on you. I don't believe it. You mean you just asked her about the ledger? So sue me already. Time for a different attack. Hold on, I think it's room service. Just a second. Yeah. Hold on, please. I have to pay the check. Come on, I can't hang on to this phone all day. seem to find my... Getting a tip. You know that. <laughs> Terrific view. <laughs> Come on. Come on, it's only 15 floors down, and you don't have to worry about the first 14. <laughs> Christy, Christy, are you all right? What's happening? I knew you're not going to believe this, boss, but... Believe what? Now, what, what are you up to? Are you in any kind of trouble? Uh, no. You are off the job. How about that? Does that get through to you? Huh? Well, that's the way you wanted it, right? But what a way to do it. I did it! I suppose I called down to room service and asked them to send up one killer? Yeah, well, it's done, so now you can go back to doing whatever it is you do uh, when you're not messing things up. Is that the uh, complete list of Cortino's businesses? Well, this is just the legitimate stuff. 
37. Hey, come on. I want to sit with Helena and follow this thing through. Will you get out of here? I can nail her. I know I can. Get that information that we want, that we need. I've had an idea. Chris, you know what you've got? You've got chutzpah. That's what you've got. Well, just listen, just for a second, please. Now, Varga's a very touchy lady. I figure if I can do some background work on her, I can come up with something that will make her cooperate with us. Cooperate big. Christy, love, how long has it been since you babysat from midnight to eight with a bunch of winos? Cortino trusts Helena, right? She knows where that ledger is, right? So he's got to have a hole so strong on her that... Hey, come on, I want to dig it and find those skeletons. Get out, get out. All right, listen, I'll make a bet with you. When's that next shipment be? I don't know. Uh, an hour, a month, I don't know. Uh-huh, precisely. Give me three days. If I don't come up with anything by then, you win. Win? I win what? You name it, you got it. Uh, you better report to Monzo. <laughs> Monzo? He's with the pickpocket detail. That's right, baby. And you do a good job for the force, you hear? Now, uh, what'd you say, Stoner, with the blue uh, pins or what? The blue pins indicate dealings with the city, firm contracts, right? The red pins are contracts with the state. Hello, Tom? Christy. Uh, not too good. I'm afraid I'm calling in sick. I won't be able to do any pickpocket detail today. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, bye-bye. Mrs. Long, please. Oh? You jiving me. Would I jive you? <laughs> Come in. Mrs. Long, no longer. And Mrs. Fennelly. How do you do? How do you do? Oh, didn't Abby tell you we no longer need any help? Mother, you're really disgusting. Glenda, for all we know, she may be Avon calling. Hello, sister. Welcome. No, thanks. Mrs. Fennelly. Christy, love. Police. And now, Mrs. Finley. About ten years ago, you had as an employee a Helena Varga. Helena? 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 Um, yes, I'd appreciate any information you can supply about her. Information? Yes, well, you see, she's applied for this very high security position in government. Helena? <laughs> well, I'm sorry I can't tell you anymore, uh -huh. but I'm sure you understand. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Well, what can I tell you? It's been a very long time. Well, according to our records, Mrs. Finley, she spent a year here as companion to your daughter. Yes, yes, that's right. She, uh, she came from some orphanage or convent or something, I think. And at that time, she was also taking night courses at a business college. Now, their records show that uh, she finished high school at 16, and she was studying bilingual stenography. Lordy be. Suddenly, she dropped out, and at the same time, she left here. Miss Finley, can you tell me why? No. No, I can't. I think she got a better position. Daddy, not Amy! I'm sorry. I really can't help you any further, Miss uh, Love. Miss Finley, did Helena have that child? I'm sorry. I told you I cannot help you any further. Well, thanks anyway. And I must say, it's 
been quite an experience meeting you all. Yeah. Elena never appeared to be a communist. If that's what you want to know. Is Elena in any trouble? No. You take Elena. Yeah, I do. She was really good to me. She paid attention. That was hard for her, you know. She had her own grief. What kind of grief? I don't know. I used to go to her room and she'd be crying. She had no one. Did she have her baby? Did she intend to have it, Amy? Come on. You got to remember something about it. I was a kid. She talked about never having the baby. I never heard anything more. You take care. And, uh, are you going to be all right in there? Oh, sure. Okay. And, uh, I'd cool it with a grand. You want something? You kind of remind me of Helena. <laughs> lady.
Christie. What the devil are you doing here? I'm shopping. Ain't this the Goodwill thrift shop? Didn't I tell you you off the job? So I'm off. What are you doing here? You got a warrant? We've got this place covered. You were spotted coming in here, Sherlock. Mm. After Helena left with Cortino. What's that? Well, it's not the ledger we're looking for. See that. Regular Don Juan, aren't you? How would you know? Mm, things you hear. Elmo, you still off the keys? Yes. This is in Child's play, you know. Well, neither is this. And don't forget our bet. I got two more days. I didn't make any bet with you. Oh. Come on. I'm on to something. I got a hunch about Helena and that nephew in Miami. Now, ten years ago, Helena Barger got pregnant. She talked about having an abortion, but I don't think she did. Look here. I think this is her kid. The one in Miami. For some reason, she wants everybody to think he's just a nephew. Well, what does all this have to do with the ledger or Cortino? That's what I'm going to find out. No, you're not. You're going to report to Monzo in the morning. Oh, Mr. Reardon, tomorrow is my day off. Don't forget to lock up when you leave now, you hear? All the time, and when you're drunk, you can do anything. The only trouble I had was when I was sober. I thank God for that trouble. Because once I was sober long enough to come down here to Alcoholics Anonymous, and now I am never going to have to pay that price again. See, I knew one thing. Celia! Hi! Oh, <laughs> I think you don't hey. know. Hey, I feel great. Hey. How's the job going? Well, it uh, keeps me off the street. <laughs> Need some help. Mm. I thought so when you called tonight. Mm. Helena Varga. <sighs> Sorry. Well, there's really not much I can tell you. Mm. I met her about... Ten years ago, at one of those abortion clinics. And then, uh, about a year later, we uh, we work in a house together. Then she left. I haven't seen her since. You haven't seen her since then? But you talked to her, though. Give us a stay, our daily bread. And forgive us our... But how come she calls you? Because I was like her friend. You know, I helped break her in. Christy, please. I'd do anything for you. Help save my life. Hey, I don't want any favors. Baby, I know you kept me out of jail. I know that, but don't. Do you know the kind of stuff that Helena is into? I can't tell you nothing, Christy. I haven't seen her for a long time. Did she have the abortion that time? What do you mean? I mean, I don't figure she did. I got a feeling that she had that kid, Celia, did she? No. She had abortion at that place. What place? I don't know. I can't remember. Try. Shady Acres. Sunny Acres. Near Ohio. I mean, I think they went out of business a long time ago. She had the abortion. Thanks, Celia. I mean, a lot of places went out of business at that time because of the pill, you know. Um, I think you really got to be dumb nowadays to get caught. Hey, hey, be scared. You know I wouldn't hurt you. Hang loose, Mama.
is just beautiful. I tell you, there's your new gold mine, samurai movies. It'll be bigger here than all of that Chinese kung fu stuff. Mr. Cortino, I enjoyed the film. But uh, <laughs> I don't see the connection. Let me tell you about Japan. It's going to take over the whole planet. I mean, with the transistors and the cameras and the cars and now these movies. Well, that's certainly true. I suppose next to the German mark, the yen's the most stable currency in the world today. Aha. Uh -huh. Just so. Now, we are going into the movie business. And we are going to clean up. Mr. Cortino, could we get down to our business? Please. <laughs> in a hurry. You kids are always in a hurry. I called your appointment first. I don't know what she's after. <sighs> she's been asking all kinds of questions about me. I can't speak for the others, but, uh... Well, Dad is concerned. Now, you tell Dad. Take it easy. Tell all your dads, don't shove. Two days. It'll be Thursday, two days from now. You'll have your stuff. Great. Terrific. Right. You go back to your dad's. You tell him for me not to worry. Thanks, Mr. You bring back such memories. Those were lovely times. Not a week would pass without some small thrill. The good old days, huh? <laughs> now everything is legal. Sunny Acres is truly a rest home. Well, keeps you out of jail, Pop. <laughs> this is a jail. You know, in the past 12 months, the youngest woman I've examined was 73 years old. Really? Did anybody ever tell you you have a beautiful form. I appreciate that. Why don't we go into my office? We can talk better. Oh, uh, this is fine right here. Thanks. Okay. Oh, uh, Doc, we were talking about Helena Vargas. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I remember Helena. Mm -hmm. Oh, what beauty, what fire. What a form. Uh, when exactly did she have her abortion? Abortion? Well, yeah, didn't she come here to have an abortion? Uh, no. There was no abortion for Helena. I delivered her baby, a boy, a beautiful boy. Sure? Am I sure? Why, of course, she worked here for three months afterwards until the adoption. Adoption? <laughs> she was really quite brilliant, you know. Uneducated, but brilliant. A head that could grasp a problem. Who, who adopted the baby? Oh, I don't know. Rich people from some fancy suburb. Like her family in Miami, maybe, or someplace like that? No, 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 definitely no. Nothing like that for Helena. Christy? Hi. Christy? Celia? Yes, Huepe. 
Strange against what? Oh, honey, did I do that to you? Did I do what to what? Cindy, tell me where you are and I'll come and get you. No, no, no. Come over my house. And I want to talk to you. Hurry up. That's her. going. you real friend. So every once in a while, every six months, I go see the baby. Baby? I tell her how he's doing. What baby? He ain't no baby no more. <laughs> he's a big boy now. <laughs> he's cute. He's really cute. Hey, honey, has, has Elena ever talked about or mentioned a ledger? Elena? Mm -hmm. Got a whole lot of black in her. See ya. She almost is so good. <laughs> I forgot to shut the door. Come back here, woman!
But, Christy, that information is not merely privileged. It's almost sacred. Myron, that's why I came to you, old buddy. I mean, that's like the initial guarantee. Uh -huh. When a couple adopts a child, they are assured that the natural mother will never learn. Myron, now you're acting like a natural mother. Even with a court order. I don't believe that you could oblige any adoption agency to reveal the name hey, and... Hey, Myron, I'll keep your silly old secret, man. I promise. Come on, you can get me that information. Use your contact. Hey, uh, show me you do this, okay? Um, all right, hey, listen, I happen to know that your sister Rita has been fooling around with... Christy! Byron, are you going to help me or not? Thanks, old buddy. That one's 536. We're getting close. 540. Ah, oh, there it is, Walter. Right there on the mailbox. Kill day, John. Kill day. Okay. Look, that must be him. But which one? Uh, tell me, Coach, how many teams do you have competing in this park league? Eight. We got eight. And uh, the kids are really terrific. Yeah, they look pretty terrific. What uh, paper are you with again? Uh, uh, the Jesus Press. You see, we're doing a series of articles on community athletic programs. Uh, Coach, do you think we could maybe call the boys in for a team picture? Sure. Fantastic. <laughs> hey, you look really good out there. Hey, why don't we uh, get in a straight line and we can have some pictures taken and I can get your names, okay? Okay. Right. Let's see how fast we can get in line. Come on, quickly. Straight line, let's go. Okay, and you are? Andrew Mason. Andrew... Mason, thank you. Calvin Farnsworth, ma'am. Farnsworth, thank you. Welcome. John Kilday, Jr. I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? John Kilday. K-I-L-D-A-Y, Jr. Thank you, John. You wouldn't want to forget the junior. And you are? Henry Hank Stinson III. If you say so, sugar. <laughs> hey, hey, you got a warrant? You want to see me, sweetheart. I can save your skin. Right, just like you did with Celia. You stick your big nose... Hey, just oh. shut up. Just shut your face. Celia was my friend, and she was doing just fine until she got tangled up with you and your kid. What? What kid? Hey, come on, I know about your kid. I'm not talking about that nephew of yours in Miami either, so let's just stop with the games already, yeah, you okay? Get out of here, okay, you just leave me alone. Tomorrow I'll prove to you, I know. Just lay off on me. Cortino's coming, I don't want you here. Cortino, yes, I want to know about him too, and about that ledger and all that junk he's shipping in here. He'll be here any minute, and I don't want you here, so get out! Why don't you want him to see me here with you, huh? How come you're afraid of me, huh? Tell me that. Get out. You know what? I bet you Cortino doesn't know about your real kid, does he? He thinks that nephew of yours in Miami is your boy. Baby, you got him snow too, don't you? Well, why all the lies? Why all the pretense, huh? Just cool it. Just cool it. Now I'm gonna do you a favor. You ever been to the city museum, huh? I didn't think so, but you be there tomorrow morning, you hear? 10 a.m. sharp, and we can make a deal. Now, open the door. Hey, 
so long to open the door. Well, Mr. Cortino, I thought I'd be meeting up with you. Cop. So, this is the uh, lady who's been bothering you, huh? The one and only. Yeah, well, I'll see you. <laughs> All right, go ahead, little big shot. Miss Varg and I have an engagement. Yeah, well, have a good time. Excuse me. I'll have Mr. Loomis take you to your car. We don't have to bother, really. Oh, no bother at all. Everywhere you go these days, degenerates. Good night. Yeah, good night. Come on, shorty. She forced her way in. All right, what for? Some damn ledger again. Oh, 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 that's funny. Now, that is really funny. <laughs> it's not funny. Now, cut that out. Oh, come on. Everything's going to be beautiful. Tomorrow's our big day. You're all right, aren't you? If you're carrying a concealed weapon, I'm obliged to take you in. This is pretty nice in here, isn't it? Did you look at this? What is this, Teak? It's kind of nice, isn't it? obliged to warn you that anything you say may be used against you. You're under arrest. Are you sure those pictures are Helena Vargas's kid? A1 positive. Well, it's ten after ten and she hasn't shown yet. She will. That's one scared lady, believe me. She's scared to death of Cortino finding out anything about this kid. Yeah, I suppose Cortino does know about both kids, which is which. Well, then you'd win our little bet, wouldn't you? You didn't mean that, did you? Didn't I thought this was between the two of us. Oh, uh, this is my boss, Captain Reardon. Uh-uh. Hold on, darling. A present. So what's that? So take a look. It's not a kid, so what? That's not your kid? No, he's a stranger. Hey. 
Look, you pig, I don't know what you're trying to do, but I don't know that kid. Mm -hmm. His name is John Kilday, Jr. He resides at 550 Garden Drive, Rolling Hill. name, address, dates, and the name of his real mother. Helena Varga. Now you have some information that we want, Miss Varga. I don't know anything, nothing. Miss Varga, you see this envelope? It's addressed to Enzo Cortino. Now there's a stamp on it, and it's ready to be mailed. Now there's a mailbox right over there by the entrance. Now what do you say, you feel like talking or what? So you send him a picture. What? So what? You know, for years, you've been pretending to Cortino that uh, your nephew in Miami is your real kid, right? Now, why is it so important to keep Cortino dumb about this kid? Why are you protecting him, hiding him from Cortino? Damn you! Now, wait a minute. It's not going to be that easy, father. Now, we'll make a trade. The kid or the information. You wouldn't put that kid's life in danger. You wouldn't do that. What do you want? You know what we want, Helena. Cortino's ledger. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, come on, Miss Varga. Let's get to it, huh? Get to it? That's really funny, Mr. Reardon. Reardon, because you are... You are with it. See, it's right here in the room with you. It's me, stupid me. Here. I'll show you. Central Avenue and three hundred Central Avenue and two hundred and thirty sixth Street. Twenty foot by eighty foot building. Plus basement. Suitable for women and children's wear. Call six five seven one six five seven. Floral Park. Renovate this solid nine hundred square foot building yourself. Handyman special. I'm Enzo Cortino's ledger. Wow. What do you do? Miss Varga, I want to know how Cortino operates. When the next shipment comes in. How, why, everything. In exchange, immunity, protection all the way down the line. Come on, we'll talk about it as we're walking. No, first I want to see my kid. Well, we can arrange that. No! Because later it won't matter, because I'll be dead. And I want to see him. Just once. And you don't get anything out of me until I do, I swear it. You know, for somebody in your business, you got quite a problem. You got feelings, girl. Yeah? What about you? You, uh... Saw him? 
My son? Yeah, just for a minute, though. He's a nice little boy, too. His old man was all right, I guess. I was just a baby. Cortino is uh, pretty sure of you, isn't he? He was sure. My photographic memory became important. No one could steal a record. Nothing written. And to ensure my loyalty, he let me know Raymond's life would always be at stake. I had him convinced Raymond was my son. And you kept up that game, knowing your nephew's life was on the line? I was crazy. I had to protect him. He had to be safe no matter what. I, I couldn't stop. Hey, does that vehicle look familiar to you? Turn up just in case. Bye. Hey, they're really tailing us now. Yeah. We better head somewhere else. Taking you to the hospital. Just hold on. You're gonna see him first. You're gonna see him, but right now, right now is all I got. You take me to him, or you don't get anything out of me. Now, where's my baby, huh? Pretty soon, honey. Pretty soon. You should. You should be out here. Better be. One.
Here they come. There they are. I'm getting you to the hospital right now. No. Give me that thing. Kyoto Theater. Today. Movies. In films. In the film. Contacts, honey. The contacts. Seattle. Nikki Florence, Portland, London Market, San Francisco, Mike D'Onofrio, San Diego. Thank you for the prompt delivery. Oh, it's a pleasure. Understand you're showing porno movies here. Porno? I don't understand. Yeah, you understand. You understand. I'd like to take a look at your film. Come on, get out of the way. Is this how you do it? Dirty movie. <laughs> Everywhere you go these days, degenerates. You want to arrest sugar. I could do. You didn't think I was going to put you in a cab and let you go home alone. Mm. Where's your key? Oh, I can manage. Thank you. Well, there's no doubt about that. Oh, ho, ho. 
That's not a compliment. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it is. You did a very good job. <laughs> the least I could do. <laughs> well, good night, Mr. Reardon. Good night? Well, now, wait a minute. <laughs> I, um, thought we'd have a nightcap. Uh, you know, it's been a rare day, and I am very tired. All I want to do is get in my tub, excuse me, and soak for about a week and a half. Well, I just thought that, uh, we'd have a little drink. Oh, did you now? If you remember, I won the bet. Okay, so why don't we celebrate by having a nightcap? Okay, then, but just one, and that's my limit. <laughs> 